Hello, I am Benedict. I am a pediatric cardiac surgeon. I work in Bangalore and Vijayawada. After hearing all the stories from the surgeon, the parents get a bit confused and they come back to asking a different angle of the same concern they have. Doctor, you said uh, we can have two, three operations for this child. Then I have to again slow them down, again explain to them what the problem is and what we are planning to do and whether the child will have just one operation or more than one. As I told you, 90% of children can be cured with just one operation. So that's fine. Those children go home. But the remaining parents, I have to explain to them why we are staging the operation and tell them the first operation is going to be like this and only then will the second operation be successful. And why the second operation cannot be done at this stage in the child's life and why we need things to change to reach the stage of final correction. In some cases, the second operation also may be a bridge to a third operation. In spite of that, because it is not possible to give perfect repair in those small subset of patients, we may need a fourth or other multiple operations. Some children, the heart valves may be leaking, they may need a valve to be placed. Some patients, the heartbeat may not be normal and may be very slow, called a heart block, where we need to put a pacemaker and a pacemaker has got a limited lifespan, which is a machine, so we'll have to replace that. All these things are recurrent operation, but this is very, very, very rare. Maybe in the last 10 years, I would have done 2,000, 3,000 operations, out of which I would have done second time surgeries, maybe 20, and third time surgeries, maybe 10. So 30 out of 3,000 is a very small number. So the number of repeat surgeries is not too many because the expertise available in the country enables us to do the final operation for many patients in the first time itself. Hello viewers, now that you have seen these short videos that I have recorded for you as to what questions parents would ask me, I am sure you would have your own questions. If you have any, please comment below, subscribe to our channel 